Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jerry, and I'm one of the directors in the Enterprise Development Group in Tomasi. This afternoon, I'm very pleased to be sharing with you a special announcement regarding Tomasi and ASTAR's partnership to explore a new food tech innovation center in Singapore. Over the past two days, many panels in this summit have discussed the macro trend of a growing population and increasing affluence. By 2050, global food demand is expected to grow by 40%. A lot of this growth is coming from Asia, where the population is expected to grow by 250 million by the year 2030. That's the equivalent of another Indonesia. However, crop yields have been threatened by climate change, urbanization, and soil degradation. There is therefore a need to improve the overall food chain in order to ensure food security for the future. We are excited by the opportunities in innovative and sustainable solutions in order to produce more with less, as well as to produce better food for the environment and better food for us. In particular, we're excited with the growing group of young and affluent new Asian consumers. These new Asian consumers are from the urban mid upper middle class and live in urban cities. They have high purchasing power and are conscious of wellness and sustainability. Often when they make purchasing decisions, they do so with an ethics bias. We believe that these new Asian consumers will shape and drive the demand going forward. We are heartened that there's a growing group of food tech startups that have emerged to address the global food challenge as well as to meet the demands of the new Asian consumers. These food tech startups range across, across plant-based proteins, microbial proteins, and cultivated meat. We've talked to many of them, and there's recognition that this industry is nascent and it's early days for many of these food tech startups. These startups are going to need support as they go through the innovation life cycle. Whether it's in the early stages of ideation, product development, and pilot scale manufacturing, or for those that are a little bit more advanced, understanding of regulations in order to bring their products to the market, driving sales of their products, as well as manufacturing their products at large scale in order to drive down costs. With that in mind, Thomasic has signed an MOU with ASTAR to explore a new food tech innovation center in Singapore. This food tech innovation center aims to accelerate the commercialization of promising food tech to meet the demands of new Asian consumers. The innovation center will make available essential facilities such as co-working spaces, wet labs and test kitchens at competitive prices. And for the startups that are ready to make small batches of their products in order to test market acceptance, the innovation center will make available pilot scale equipment for small batch manufacturing. Beyond infrastructure and equipment, we believe that food tech startups will benefit from a range of advisory support in order to facilitate rapid commercialization. In the coming months, the MASIC and ASTAR will develop the detailed plans for this food tech innovation center. We envisage the food tech innovation center to be an open and communal space where food tech startups and food companies can come together to collaborate. They will have access to wet labs as well as test kitchens for product development. The innovation center will also invest in specialized equipments, whether it's bioreactors or high moisture extruders. And as I mentioned earlier, we believe that the food tech startups can benefit from a range of advice, starting from what products to manufacture, based on consumer insights, how to manufacture these products, you know, in terms of technical expertise for product and process development. And for those startups that have products that are ready to go to market, they could benefit from an understanding of the regulations in the various markets across Asia. And once their products are in the market, they're gonna need help to drive sales of their products through marketing, increasing consumer awareness and general advocacy. We have started to share the idea of this food tech innovation center with the startups and have received very encouraging feedback. For example, Andre Manassas and Timo Recker, 
co-founders of NextGen Foods, see the potential partnership with the Food Tech Innovation Center as a game changer, which could accelerate their development even further within this unique ecosystem in Singapore. Feng Ru Lin, co-founder and CEO of Turtle Tree Labs, thinks that the Food Tech Innovation Center can help to address the rising demand for affordable life sciences labs, pilot scale facilities, and co-working ecosystem for food tech startups in Singapore. The MASIC and ASTAR have come together to catalyze and initiate the thinking for this Food Tech Innovation Center. The MASIC has been an active investor in the sustainable proteins or food tech space through our direct investments in startups, but also through our investments in food tech related accelerator funds. Our partner ASTAR, through the newly formed Singapore Institute of Food and Biotechnology Innovation, or SIFB for short, brings to the table deep capabilities and talent in food and biotech. They have experience in novel ingredients discovery and biomanufacturing, as well as development of quality, safe, and nutritious food solutions. Therefore, this Food Tech Innovation Center will be able to draw on the capabilities and networks of both the MASIC and ASTAR. Having said that, we see Tomasic and ASTAR as the initial partners for the Food Tech Innovation Center, but certainly not the only partners. We believe that for the Food Tech Innovation Center to be successful, we're going to have to build a large and rich ecosystem around it. Therefore, if you're a food company or ingredients company, an investor in the food tech space, or research institutes doing work in food tech, or food tech startups, we welcome you to be part of this journey to co-shape the plans of the Food Tech Innovation Center with us. Please do contact us at the email address ftic at tomasic.com.sg or scan the QR code on this slide to leave your contact details. We look forward to working with you to, to bring to bear this key enabler in the food tech ecosystem in Singapore. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.